honoring your word, just doing what you said you would do. And it's the most difficult. And it's the most difficult because of those excuses, those excuses that you use for everything. One of my favorite phrases in the world is how you do anything is how you do everything. Think about that. How you do anything is how you do everything. Those same excuses that you use for anything, meaning uh, uh, insignificantly, insignificant things or, or things that are, um, what's the word I'm looking for, that are seemingly, not meaningful, seemingly insignificant things. The excuses that you use for that, they're the same excuses you use for the big things. How you do anything is how you do everything. You start realizing the excuses that you would use for not going to the gym, the excuses that you would use for maybe deviating from your diet, the excuses that you would use for not reading those 10 pages because you're tired and you want to go to sleep are the same excuses that you're using in every other area of your life. And when you start realizing that in yourself, you start really seeing it in other people which is an interesting dynamic in and of itself. You start seeing the excuses that other people are placing on why they don't have time and why they can't do things and why that doesn't work for them. And in that process, you just become a better version of yourself. I encourage you and I challenge you, look at the excuses that you're using in your life. And I guarantee the same excuse that could have been used tonight as to why I don't need to be working out when it's 3 a.m. back home is the same excuse that you're using for every single other area of your life that's lacking. Excuses that they're subtle, seductive, and believable. Subtle in that they just kind of creep in. Yeah. Seductive that they start kind of marinating and you start thinking about them. And then once they become believable, you're done. Start auditing the excuses you're allowing yourself to believe. They just aren't true. And I've got zero respect for any excuse, for anything that's ultimately supposed to be pushing you forward, but you're allowing to hold you back. It's, it's difficult to do the things that you know you're supposed to do when you don't feel like doing it. I cannot stress the importance of it because at the end of the day, nobody cares how you feel. Minus your mom, maybe your spouse, maybe your friends that aren't that driven in their life maybe they'll console you and say oh man I get it it's all right I did the same thing <laughs> but nobody really cares it all comes down to honoring your word a lot of this comes down to self-awareness and being able to identify those moments in your day um, where there's a fork in the road right and where you could choose to do something that would ultimately you know, propel you in the right direction or you could choose not to do something um, and choosing to do it anyway, like when you don't feel like it, do it anyways. When you are feeling lazy, do it anyways. When you're tired, you know, all that stuff, um, that do it anyway mentality, if you can just identify a few times in your day uh, where normally, like the normal me, uh, may have done this, I'm gonna do this today. And by doing that just once a day, twice a day, the momentum that that will create within your business and just within yourself personally is something that is unstoppable and something that will, um, that will build ex uh, extremely fast. And it's, it's palpable, like you can feel it, you can feel that, um, that momentum. Choosing to wake up intentionally and doing these things that you said you would do, honoring your word and that you said you would do these things every morning and night, so you're going to do those things every morning and night. There's something about starting your day intentionally, uh, doing something that you uh, purposely set out to do and then reacting to what the world would love for you to do. Uh, there's something very rewarding in that process and I really think sets the tone uh, for the rest of your day. So you say you're going to do something and you do it. Yep. Um, and being able to, to honor your word, there's a million different ways that you can, that you can, you can practice that or, re or uh, reinforce that. And this was just one way. 
uh, but it was a brutal way mm -hmm. uh, to where it gave you an infinite number of reasons why not to, um, and you only had one too, and it was because I said it would. Because I said it would. And so, you know, the encouragement coming out of this and, and our challenge to everybody is to look at those things that you're not doing and, and try to be self-aware enough to realize what your excuses are and to be able to just kind of like make that, make that realization of like, huh, I'm not doing this right now because I just said this is stupid, I don't need to do this. And then, Here, and then kind of look little, into that, yeah. It just translates into a salesperson, right? They're, yeah. making, they're making phone calls. I'm gonna make 100 phone calls today, you get to 75, it's already five o'clock. Mm -hmm. And you've already just crushed them, set up 20 appointments. Mm -hmm. You said you were gonna make 100. Here's, the, here's what it sounds like. Hey, you already got 20 appointments. You don't need to make another 25 mm -hmm. calls. It's already five o'clock, you're expected home. Aren't you gonna be a good dad? Aren't you <laughs> gonna be a good mom? Mm -hmm. Your kid expects you home at this time, don't you? And here, here it is. Remember what I said, excuses are subtle, seductive, and believable. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do what you said you're gonna do or not? Mm -hmm. Right? What are you gonna do? Because it's not honoring your word to another person, it's honoring your word to yourself. That's exactly and right. And then if you can do that, then the other... Then the other happens automatically.